Um, well, first of all, disability. The, the idea that I don't feel I have a disability, it doesn't work, it, I'm not eligible, so I won't go and find anything out. Um, the fact that I don't have anyone to help me find out. There's all sorts of barriers to just finding out about it. For me, there's the outside barriers, like uh, being able to tolerate um, bureaucracy and waiting in lines and speaking to people that maybe aren't clear. But then there are barriers that I've got because of the way I function. So my memory is really impaired. How do you show you have a mental health problem? The thing is, it depends on doctors. They just say, okay, you don't have a problem. They can't see you lying in the bed at night. The whole night you can't sleep. I found so many consumers, um, so many people with lived experience of mental illness, so confused and overwhelmed by the NDIS and all the information they're receiving. Also, the information they're receiving is not always exactly the same, depending on who's delivering it. But 然后呢，你还得跟外面世界接触的时候，有一些偏见的时候，让你不得不去跟他们去说什么呢？做斗争也好啊，说调和也好。this is a, a space that is complicated, confused and can even be very, very distressing for people with mental health issues negotiating their way through it. I do class myself as, you know, as, as, you know on a recovery journey and I'm feeling quite well and, um, and then I'm having to think back to those times when I haven't been well. And um, it definitely did impact on me. And that was just um, going through the process with professionals that I know. So I don't know what it's gonna be like going through the process with people who don't know me at all. I did get to a stage where I felt that I told my story over and over again and was clear about what I needed to be safe and it didn't matter. Um, but. I also have told my story a lot in trying to get change happening. So that's actually been empowering. Just 不相信别人。哎，你跟周围这些人，他能相信的就少之又少。It's not, not enough just to have a mental health condition and be um, impacted severely by it. You have to provide sufficient evidence, um, and I have known people that have had to go back two, three, four times with more evidence, more evidence, more evidence before getting over the line. So um, if you believe you have a good case for eligibility, don't be disheartened. My main challenge was having a voice in the process initially and still is when I try and pursue any complaints processes. There are, there's no accountability. So I just hope people protect themselves as best they can. Mm. And hopefully, you know, more peer groups and advocacy groups will start standing up and sharing stories and making change. Mm.